Uh, uh, it's okay, that baby. That was a bad spot. It's okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, that part's okay. done. All right, so we're back here with Peppermint, and this is my old friend Nick, and we've done uh, videos to, well, we did one video together with your dog. Yeah. Got Ooh, it. I heard that crack. Yeah, that was a crack. And hey, nice one, Fluffer Nutter. And she's awesome, I love your dog. And you had an interesting, I remember, um, in case someone hasn't seen your first video, uh, we'll put the link of the first video in the description box if you want to go back and check that one out. But it was kind of interesting how you came about having Peppermint in your life, because didn't you lose a friend or something? Yeah, she, well, she started out, she was abandoned on the streets of the Bronx. Yeah, you were, at two months old. This dog? Yeah, and um, which blows my mind. Like, somebody would just be like, see ya, good luck. And my last girlfriend adopted her, and so, she had her for a couple of years and then she moved in with me and then May before last, my Havanese, Lola, passed away two months before she turned 16 and this one was bombed. And just as she was kind of getting over that, her mom, her human mom, my girlfriend, passed away in August. She was only 42. She had, she had been sick her whole life. She had this rare neurological disease and so that's how uh, Peppermint came into my life. She lost her owner, mother. Yep. And she lost her best dog friend. Her best was, friend, it was know, like her best, surrogate mother, yeah. big sister, so. Then it gave you guys a chance to have a friendship too. Yeah, I mean, you know, she always loved me anyway. You know, like she would, you know, she, she would sit on the couch and we'd watch movies and or whatever. And she would sit on the couch and just stare at Bianca and Bianca would say, why do you love daddy so much more than me? And I'm like, cause daddy doesn't walk through the house yelling, yeah. you know? <laughs> Well, but, um, you know, as you can see, she's a happy little nerd. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, too. That's a, must have been a hell of a time. So she's got this little hitch in her step. She's yeah. been limping a little bit. She walks normal, then it hitches. And yeah. she guards and she dabs her foot down and pulls her knee up a little bit to protect it, to guard it. I noticed that when she was starting yeah. to run, and mm -hmm. I was like, okay. But then every once in a while, like you say, it's, coming, it's creeping as she walks. Yeah. And it's hard to tell because she's such a stoic little dog. Like, yeah. I... I like, if she was in pain, I wouldn't know. She would never let me but, know. But she's such a positive person, yeah. <laughs> dog, yeah. that uh, she has this high pain tolerance and she doesn't want to do anything except play all the time. And then she's exactly. probably confused, why does my leg hurt sometimes? Yeah, as but I you, said... You took her to the vet, though. I took her to the vet and um, because my last dog had torn her ACL on both of her hind legs and I wanted to make sure it wasn't that. So the vet felt her and said, no, I mean, if anything, it's like the equivalent of a sprain. So they put her on gabapentin you know, which is the anti-inflammatory and for Ramadil. And she was okay for a couple of days. This is like maybe a month ago, three weeks ago. And then she started kind of like limping again, you know? So, it, it, and it's, it's sporadic, it's not constant. But you know, we were at the dog run the other day and she, and she loves to run by herself. And she, she really, I mean, she's a fast little thing, but she really wasn't getting much speed and I could see her kind of. How old do you think she is now? I think she's six. It's hard to tell because the vet has like four different birthdays on file, but I believe she just turned six in November. Maybe she has other aliases. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> she carries six passports, uh, five driver's license. You know, she's probably a secret What's agent. What's this bill for she, a European vacation? Yeah, she's, she's got a, another life that you probably aren't aware of. Like every time you go, I haven't seen her in a week. She's yeah. in Europe. Yeah. Somewhere. All right, so the first thing we should do is, let's see her walk, okay? And we'll get up, we'll watch her walk, see if she displays that type of hitch step. And I'll also demonstrate a little bit too of what I'm seeing. So let's do that first. So this is what I'm seeing. Every once in a while, she pulls up her right leg like this, so she's walking. And then she walks normal. And then she walks normal. That's what she does. She kind of pulls up that right leg and guards it every once in a while. So there's something definitely off where I'll have to take a look. So let's get started. So I just wanted to ask if I could work with you today. How do you feel about that? Okay. Ask him. Is it okay if I work with her? Oh yeah. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> be careful. She will put her tongue in your mouth if you get close enough. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a good thing. Oh yeah, she remembers. Look at this. <laughs> All right. All right. So on. I'm going to reach around and start going at her upper cervicals, just see if they're off. She has great range of motion, pull her head down, okay. all the way to the right, all the way to the left, feeling her front shoulder, bringing the leg up, 
compressing, feeling all of her little joints. Let's do this side, bring the leg up, compress it up, work through each joint, make okay. sure they're moving. So that feels really good. Her upper, uh, her forward legs are good, her front limbs, her neck is good. Ah. Let me see, there's something here on the lower left. There it goes. And I just got it. So I laterally flexed, I got C5 on the left. Her atlas feels good. There might be a little bit here on the right. Oh, I heard it. You heard that crack. Heard the pop, yeah. And that's good. Look at how well her neck moves. Good girl. Um, so now I'm going to come down the back. I'm going to come to the mid-back. There's 13 bones in the mid-back, so I'm coming down and checking each one, one at a time. I'm between the shoulder blades here. Let's switch arms. And I'm down the middle back, down to T10, T11. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. That was a bad spot. It's okay. It's okay, it's so okay. that was at T13, L1 which is called the thoracolumbar junction. Okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get on this hip because I don't know how much time we have before she just doesn't want me to no, it's okay. have it's access okay. anymore. It's okay. And now I'm pulling the leg into extension. It's okay. It's okay. And it's okay. My, I do feel something here at the SI joint. So I'm gonna do a it's little okay. adjustment. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah. I might switch and do it with this. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's her bad spot. So she does yeah. have a little, her, her SI joint is out. Okay. There it is again. And let's check the knee, because she does get the uh, subluxating patellas, where the patella goes out. So I know how to put those back in if they're out. This one feels good. Good. So was the joint actually out? No, it was, she just had a misaligned okay. SI joint. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, iliac joint. And it's, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Still ah, hey, 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 hey. And then I'm also gonna do it's okay. Sacral base, and let me do one spot with my hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, that part's okay. done. So okay. we're done. Okay. Let's put her on the it's ground. Okay. Let's see her walk okay. now. It's okay. Wait, wait, let's check the shake. There's the shake. Good. Yeah. There's the body. Look at that. Why don't you guys walk down the hallway together? Come on. Okay. I think you set the record for screaming the most of uh, any uh, adjustment. Right now. The leg looks better. Okay, come on. Good girl. Look, she's, she's immediately running. Pat, come on. Come on. Come on. OK, so Nick, let's give you a nice adjustment. And we'll do a little bit for the dad now. We're going to give Nick an adjustment. Because usually Nick comes in himself without peppermint. So I thought I would just throw in a little Nick treatment today as well. I wouldn't want her to be off leash at the dog park yeah. for the next three days. Yeah. Because I want it to settle yeah. and relax. So you can keep her on leash, uh, but don't <coughs> take her off and let her run crazy yeah. and do zoomies by herself for three days until you're really observed that she feels solid again and she's not limping. Got it. All right, so Nick, we're going to have you lie okay. face up. Okay. We're going to do a mini one for you today. Look at the smile. And, and she looks a little happy, right? She, now that I'm done working. I call that her Joker smile. My friend Mark's like, dude, she's like a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either dolphin or Joker, probably a little of both. So you're going to be face up. All right. Let this drop. Oh! Good. Oh, so good. That's a good one. Ooh. Oh! Come this way. Ooh. Ooh. Good. That's it. Okay. That's a little tune-up. Good stuff. You couldn't just work on peppermint without working on dad. So it's a daddy-daughter day here <laughs> at the chiropractic office. Look at this. Yeah. She's like, how come you didn't, how come you didn't cry? <laughs> this, this can't possibly be my life. I always say the woman that dates me has got to love my dog almost more than she loves me. Luckily, that's usually the way it works out. <laughs> See, there's something here on the lower left. There it goes. And I just got it. So I laterally flexed. I got C5 on the left. Her atlas feels good. There might be a little bit here on the right. Oh, I heard it. You heard that crack. Heard the pop, yeah.